If you're using a Mac to display your music as PDF documents and you don't want to reach up to your computer keyboard to change the pages in that music, now there's a way that you can do it completely using your favorite MIDI controller. Check this out. Okay, so the issue I typically have is that when we're singing at church or leading at church, I want to change pages in this music, so I have to reach up to my uh, trackpad and either click change the pages and try to get that just right between different sections of the page or press the up and down arrow keys which you can't see that I'm pressing those but I press the up and down arrow keys to change pages wouldn't it be great if you could do that from a MIDI controller so there's some software called MIDI Stroke that you can get from this website just download MIDI Stroke once you've downloaded it, it will download a zip file to your computer just open it up and then the program will be inside of there um, but then once you run the program MIDI stroke looks like this. It won't. It will not have values filled in when it first starts. So you'll do that yourself, uh, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. So the first thing you want to do is you want to select the MIDI device that you would like to use to control uh, to send signals into MIDI stroke. So MIDI stroke will take those incoming MIDI signals and translate translate those to keystrokes. So in this case, what I would like to do is I'd like to assign kind of a page up, page down button to go into this application from my MIDI device. So now that MIDI stroke is running, now that I've selected my source device, what I really need to know is what values do I fill in in these different parameters of MIDI stroke to make it happen. The way I typically get those values, if you know what, what values your controller sends out already, then you can do that. And in my case, I use MainStage a lot. MainStage has a useful MIDI message monitor there so you can actually see all the MIDI messages that are being sent by your device. So now on my device I'm going to choose these two buttons to use. Now this device is nice because when you press the button it tells you some of the control messages that are being sent. So I'm going to press these guys and you can see as I press left and right on the controller you'll see the values coming in in the MIDI message monitor. So this uh, rewind button is actually channel 1 control number 112 and then the other one is control number 113. So 112 and 113 channel 1 and the values go from 0 to 127 every time I push it it's sending a 127 when I let it go it sends a 0. It's like an on and an off switch really. So let's look at that in MIDI stroke. I go over here to MIDI Stroke, and you can see I already have these set up for certain controllers, but what I added in here is my 112 is my rewind button, and that's on channel 1, and the value is 127. So anytime I press that, it's going to send a 127, as we saw over here in the MIDI message monitor. Let me press it again just to show you. See, there's that 127. When I let go, it's a 0, 127, 0. So, uh, similarly for the next button. So what I do then here is I say when I get a 127 I want you to actually send this keystroke to the right and I added that by just pressing that button and here I typed PG up. I only did one of those but I typed PG up. I did the same thing for the other button which is the 113 signal channel 1 when I get a 127 I want that to send a PG down or page down keystroke. How did I know to put PG down there? you look at keystrokes, it'll pop out here to the side and it'll show you some of the possible keystrokes that you can use, what you would type in there to get uh, various keystrokes. There's also help here if you need it. Alright, so there we go. So MIDI messages coming in, keystrokes going out for these particular buttons. Let's see how that works. So here's our music. So let's say we're playing along. to the next page. Okay, so there's my next page button. Bam, there it is. And then we can go straight into the next song. So there you go. So that's how it works. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Once you get it set up, I use it all the time and it's fantastic. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.